A small child can tell this beautiful poem that actually can touch people's hearts like many, many times when you listen over and over. Like that small child never will think of making money, being a beautiful rap rapper, like beautiful whatever star. She just wants to tell her story. And I think we should do that as well as artists. I think by creating beautiful energy around us, we can shape beautiful communities and we can uh, show people in different ways how to communicate with each other, how to have different ideas, how to be open to different ideas. My name is Raquel van Haven. I'm a Colombian Dutch artist now based in Amsterdam in the Netherlands. Um, I graduated in 2012 uh, and since then I've been just traveling and working for myself as a visual artist. Uh, next to my practice I also um, starting projects uh, with young artists all around the world, setting up uh, residency programs. Uh, what I also do is trying to navigate uh, between my own practice in the search of taking over new spaces or institutional spaces, white cubes, by making my paintings extremely big, but as well trying to find new solutions for young artists or even established artists, how to work uh, without a gallery or how to work without institutions uh, so we can just be sustainable for our own selves. So we shouldn't need the government or funding or whatsoever just to pay us, but we should make our, and create our own ecosystem. And I'm just trying to find solutions within these two, uh, two subjects, the painting part, the artist part, but as well as the researching part when it comes to the practice self. I remember actually uh, somebody five years ago asked me the same question and he's still researching every day what is art. Um, I don't think we can give a straight answer to that. I think art is something that can um, show his shape or her shape in many, many, many ways. When it comes maybe to fashion, when it comes to religion, when it comes to whatever. But we also find art in huge cities here like Accra. But if you go to other places around the world like Bogota, where you find crazy street art or Amsterdam, um, art is everywhere and everybody is doing it. It's a language that's universal and it's something that is not focused on money at all. Art is so much more than that. And I think uh, for people and artists who understand the value of art, um, they can move mountains. It's, it, it, can, it can be a very, very powerful tool. When I went to art school, um, I didn't find what I was looking for. It, 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 like the, the, the art schools in the Netherlands are very wide, uh, dominant uh, when it comes to teaching, uh, when it comes to information, and they just having a particular vision of the world, and they just give that to the, the, the students. Um, and I wanted to know more about Latin America, for example, about African artists, Asian artists, or curators or shows and they couldn't give it to me. So they just told me that I had to do my own research because they didn't have the information. So when I graduated in the end, um, they told me when they gave me my certificate that m to most people they would say um, that I had to listen to them. But because I never listened to them and I did my own thing, I succeeded, so I had to go on with just not listening to anyone and just do my own thing. And 
it was a weird kind of joke, but they were very right. Um, I think as an artist, you should just do what you need to do. And if other people are telling you what to do or what to make or what to say, it doesn't come from your heart. And I think you can only make work that really comes from the heart, that really can talk uh, and speaks about something that's delicate or important. But if you want to do a little bit more, you have to accept that it's very tough from time to time. Uh, and that money is never around. And that being an artist is very unstable. Like what I said before, the only stability you have in life is that there's no money. That's, that's the only fact I can give to you. There's never money to make work. But you're very creative as an artist, so you should make your own solutions. If you don't have paper, but uh, there are enough old papers and newspapers and whatever commercial books uh, laying on the floor, on the streets or whatsoever, you can just start to pick them up and create and make your own paper. If you don't have uh, a pen to write with, but there's enough wood, you can make your own charcoal. Um, at the moment I'm working on a, a, a future project. Um, at the moment it's not a hundred percent, so I cannot just give all the details. Um, so this is like the starting point of my research. So the idea is or was to spend a month in Ghana to travel around, find subjects I could connect to my own private daily life in the Netherlands, uh, subjects I could find and trace back to my own community, and subjects I find and found here in, in Ghana itself. Um, and I did, I found a lot of very interesting things when it comes to space. Uh, using space not only as an artist but as a human being. Space as in the way of people uh, going around with religion. Space when it comes to gender issues. So there, like, I found a lot of interesting things to work with um, and I would like to connect because it's always my work is coming from a very personal uh, base. Uh, I would like to connect it with the own community where I'm living in, like I'm, I'm living in Amsterdam, in the southeast of Amsterdam, uh, Belmer, and there's a huge uh, Ghanaian community as well. So I would like to connect this community uh, to the community here in Ghana to see if there are similarities or traces. So at this moment, I'm just now in a writing stage. I still don't have a clear idea of what I'm, I might do. Uh, but if everything works out as planned, uh, I will have something in 2023. So I think as an artist, just be open, be creative, um, be true to yourself, don't chase the money. Like money will come in the end. You will always find a solution. Like we, we still breathe. Every morning we wake up, we still breathe, we still alive. And um, we, we can always manage in one way or the other. So people and people love to hear stories. And that's, I think, the purpose of our existence. Like we are storytellers. And as long as we understand how to shape and how to tell these stories, uh, we will be fine, yeah.